Shall we take a mm -hmm. look and see what? Sure, let's do. What we might see. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna do some extra wind for myself. Well, we see here one or two. Uh, the phenomenon is that you have these concretions uh, that form in the bile duct and they block the bile duct. This is a pretty large one. I can see that. It had, where it was actually stoppering the, the bile duct. Right here there's a little bit of a, a kind of a nipple end or cork end where you can see it had been stuck in a tube uh, and blocked the whole thing. And, and what are we calling that now? Uh, I call them uh, gallstones. Okay. Um, in the books. Uh, but you can see the whole developmental um, pathway that it takes by looking at a toilet bowl full of all this st stuff that like comes chaff. out of that comes out of the bile ducts. You can see very small ones uh, in between, some triangle shaped, different kinds of shapes. And, and then uh, I think this, I think, is a human liver fluke. It's too tiny to identify without a microscope and without staining, but that is typically how it looks in the toilet bowl. Mm -hmm. it's, a, it's maybe a, an eighth down to a sixteenth of an inch long just like a tiny little dark colored twig. Mm -hmm. Can you see what oh, I'm you pointing bet. at? Yeah, got okay. a good view of it. And sometimes a toilet will be, have a whole ring of these around when you got a very good liver cleanse and got a whole lot out. Uh, and this is a result of a liver cleanse and this yes. is the aftermath. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, there are lots of Recurvatums here, those pointed ones. You can see there's a pointed one. There's, and if I stir this up, there will be many more. And you might be shocked to find that you have these things, even though nobody ever found them, not even with a synchrometer, because you have to search for them at the place where they are. Mm -hmm. And if they're just down the lane a bit, you could miss them. There you see one, the sharp pointy recurvatum, and here you see a few. Uh, and again, I'm trying to find, here we, here we are, here we have some uh, Oncocerca filaments. Uh-huh, I can see, see that very well. Okay, yeah. now this doesn't scientifically identify them, but this is what they look like in the toilet. Yep. So you, there aren't very many contenders for this. Uh, so if this is what you're finding, this uh, you're, you're getting a filaria of some kind, and either it's a dog filaria, dog hardworm, thyroid mm -hmm. filaria, or it's Oncocerca. There are other filaria too, but I don't, uh, I, I don't see other varieties. Mm -hmm. And they, in other countries, other places, I'm sure you could find them. Mm -hmm. So by, by searching uh, in a stool sample that's easy for you to uh, have access to, uh, and there you can find out all the different things that are living in you that you could never find if you waited for it to exit. No, and a tremendous variety. A tremendous variety, yes. <laughs> None of them good. No, none of them. <laughs> none good. of them necessary. None of them doing any good at all. And so I just unloaded uh, that piece of circaria, and then they will look like a little cloud mm -hmm. in there. The uh, larger ones that I'm looking at here in that cup are what? The ones that look like uh, like sticks. Like. Or look like tomato peel? Yes. 
Uh, those are recurve atoms, oh, too. Fairly large, aren't they? Yes. They might be in copulation, so that they're doubles. And mm -hmm. I'm not sure. I haven't seen that in a textbook yet. You can't find these real things in textbooks. You see only classical mm -hmm. pictures of ancient pictures mm -hmm. in textbooks. It's not useful. Mm -hmm. uh, what's useful is if you collect your own and try to identify them with the pictures that I show you. Mm -hmm. uh, and there are many that I can't identify either. Uh, there are those in this collection here, don't know if you can see that. Yes, I can. Uh, a, a bit star-shaped, as if they were amoebas with, with six big legs. And those are acanthocephala. You've never seen one like that in a textbook. No. Uh, but I'm showing one in my latest book, uh -huh. Acanthocephalus, and that's what they look like. Uh, now here, uh, you see a roundish object, a little bit round, uh -huh. with black threads uh, uh, around it. Can you see that? Yes, I can. Okay, that's a fluke. It's uh -huh. one of the larger flukes. It's either a, it's either a, a fasciola or a fasciolopsis. Those are our two large flukes. And when they drop into water or formaldehyde, anything that's watery, they immediately swell because uh -huh. they, they're accustomed to being in 1% salt. Uh -huh. The human environment is 1% salt. Uh -huh. And so immediately it um, explodes. Mm -hmm. Doesn't take more than a minute and they've exploded. This mm -hmm. one only exploded partially. Mm -hmm. It still has its round shape, but it exploded enough so that its egg strings are hanging out. And that's what those black threads are, strings of eggs. That's absolutely phenomenal. I can show you some mm -hmm. nice, much cleaner. Uh, it's clean enough considering it's formaldehyde, but sure. uh, if we can have a clear background, I'll show you uh, so that you can see it. This, this is a fasciolopsis. Maybe we should put it on top of that. Yeah, let's white. put it on top of the white yeah. in the other room. Again, now that's a urethrema. Yes. And that's something that all HIV patients have. Yes, they all urethrema. are full of urethremas. Let's take a look. Uh, now what's different about this one is that it didn't fully explode. In fact, it didn't explode. It only broke up enough to let uh, some of the egg strings dangle a bit. And, what you, and then I stained it with a few drops of blue gauze iodine. And you can see here the your front sucker, th the, the back way. sucker. Your thumb's in the way. Here, this is in the way. Is there a okay. uh, Yeah, come on in. Please? Sure. Here, here I have a figure that says common parasites drawn from life. To be drawn from life, I drew it. Okay. Let's see if I got that. Can you can you spot the three dots? I can. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Mm -hmm. Fairly clearly. Now you can see that it's about a quarter of an inch long, or maybe just a little bit longer. And this one has not exploded terribly, um, but just broken up enough to let some of the egg strings show. Mm -hmm. So if I look at the back side here, I think we will see those egg strings.
there, those, you see those little strings here? Little threads, Monster. black threads. I can settle this down. Um, I can get it, I think, yeah. <clears throat> I can see the strings, yeah. Okay, those can are see the egg three strings. little black dots. Can you? Sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Great. <clears throat> uh, and did you get enough information on Busky? No, but I can see it a lot better when it's on that paper down there. Yes. I think, yeah. Yes, but it's big yeah. enough to where you see that it's about a little over half an inch long, uh, fleshy, and these strings are hanging out. It's a great sample. It is. It's a beauty. Great specimen. A, yeah. a, a patient produced both this and this.